This video is sponsored by Wink. Entertaining season is right around the corner and today I'm sharing a few of my favorite must-haves. Some are new, some are old, but they all look fabulous on any tablescape. Stick around, you may see some items that you may want to add to your collection. Wink Winery, based in California, offers an online membership experience that uses innovative algorithm to pair you with budget-friendly wines that you actually like. And best of all, you don't even have to leave your home. It comes straight to your door. If you are anything like me, I struggle with all of the selections of wines that's available, but at the same time, I want to try something different, and that's what I love about Wink. You can take a simple five-question palette profile quiz to help you assess your unique taste and receive wines specifically chosen to match your palette. Each month, they will introduce you to new wines that matches your taste, and there's a story behind each bottle and wine knowledge that you can share with your friends that will make a great conversation when you're entertaining your guests. This video was pre-recorded, so I've already sampled all these wines and they were spot on with the palette profile quiz that I took. Loves Me Not has notes of strawberry, raspberry, and watermelon, and it hints of candy as well, and it goes well with fruit. It's the perfect summertime wine. Pinot Grigio is one of my favorites. It's light and dry. It wasn't too thin and it pairs well with a range of dishes. We had a lot of fun with this one. It packs a punch with 15% alcohol. It's deep, rich, filled with fruity flavors, pepper, tobacco, and vanilla, and it pairs well with pasta ribs and chocolate cake. This Cabernet is my husband's favorite. It's bright and elegant, notes of pear, citrus, and vanilla. Be sure to decant it or pop it open 20 minutes before serving, and it pairs well with beef pasta, red sauce, chocolate, and cheese. I have quite the collection of wine glasses because certain shapes are better than enjoying certain types of wine. It doesn't matter if your glasses are stemmed or stemless, it's more about how the shape of the vessel collects the aromas and the deposits into your mouth. These glasses are from Z Gallery and they can hold a full bottle of wine. I typically use them when I'm serving red wine. Use any type of serving tray. You can use it to put your glasses on or you can use it to corral your wines. So I hope you guys like Wink. I think it's a must have, especially when you're entertaining. Try Wink, get four bottles for $29.95 plus free shipping. Please go to trywink.com slash be my guest with Denise and my promo code will be applied at checkout. Every wine lover deserves a beautiful electric wine opener with charging base that you can easily remove the cork with the press of a button. This stylish charging base is included along with this handy, easy to use opener. It's perfect for travel or a picnic in the park. silver serving wear you cannot go wrong on a buffet but my preference is old vintage serveware but if that's not your style you can use an updated modern version of something like these silver hammered metal bowls how pretty are they perfect for guacamole chips salad nuts and fruits and you can get them from ross stores don't have your serving spoons on a napkin or on a counter get some spoon rests in your life these are only $4.99 each at ross stores you could never go wrong with a beautiful tiered tray. The mixed metals of silver and gold has won my heart over. You can display your tasting spoons and mini bowls on them and fill them with nuts or dates. And don't forget a cheese knife set. The gold makes for an elegant choice for cheese boards or buffets. I have quite the collection of anything marble. I love marble that much, especially when entertaining because it's classic. Lazy Susans are great for making a cheese board. You just set it in the middle of the table so everyone can help themselves. No marble is too big or too small. I like to use them all over my home, especially little trees like this. I use them around my cooktop area, and I also have a utensil holder that can double as a wine chiller or a vase. You cannot go wrong with marble. You've been worn, coasters with gold on it, and of course, salt cellars with gold spoons for that added bling. Personally, I like using tasting spoons because they are perfect for bite-sized foods, and it's great to use for larger crowds and portion control. Porcelain cheese labels are great to have on hand. Many dishes are good for condiments, pickles, sauces, etc. And when you layer it on top of a marble tray, you really have something special. My cutting board is the most used equipment in my kitchen, but I have a love affair for dark and light rich woods and it looks so inviting when you add meats and cheeses on it. But my latest addition board is this tall one that is taller than my kitchen island. I'm so in love with it and it's great for serving larger crowds. I cannot wait to use it. 
I'm shying away from candlestick lighting when entertaining and settling for one big colossal candle that I'm loving right now. Typically, I would use this in my living room or entryway, but I wanted to show how I styled it here on my island if I wanted to do something very small and intimate with some friends for some ambiance. It's from Anthropology and it's quite expensive, but I did score it on sale a few months ago. Hope you guys got some great ideas for your next gathering. I will leave a link down below to Wink in my description box. And let me know as well if you guys want to see more content like this. I really had a lot of fun sharing this with you guys. And I want to thank you all for watching.